Alright, setting valve latch 101. 10 millimeter, remove both valve covers. 5.8 spark plug wrench, remove both spark plugs. For stock, uh, PVT, Delta, and BPS rockers, you're going to need a 13 millimeter and a T40. The older adjusters, they actually used a, uh, a hex drive. You'll have to check that out if you got an older engine. You need a good set of feeler gauges with five thousandths and six thousandths, not millimeters. And for the Topworks shaft mounted roller rockers, you need a one eighth inch and you need a seven sixteenth inch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set them off of the cam instead of off the top dead center. It's a whole lot more accurate and I'll explain that at the end of the video. So put it in gear, turn the key on, roll the prop in the correct direction as it's going in the water. When the exhaust valve first starts to move, stop right there. Now we set the intake. On the top works, we run five thousandths. On the rest of them, I usually run six thousandths. And what you're trying to do is get a real tight squeeze. Where it just barely starts to grab that tip and it'll barely hold it, but you can pull it out real easy. Now I'll hold that still and I tighten my adjuster down. And then before you get it tight, double check it again. I need to tighten it up just a hair more. You want a good, good roll on it, but you don't want it to put it in a bind. Snug it all the way down, double check it, feels beautiful. Nice smooth roll on it. Now we're going to do, we just set the intake, we're going to go off the exhaust. The exhaust just started to move. So now we're going to roll the prop, the exhaust is going to roll through. As it's coming up, the intake's going to start moving. It's going to roll through. As soon as the intake stops moving, we stop. A little bit more, right there, stop. Intake stop moving. Now we can set the exhaust. Same thing, get a good tight snug fit on the exhaust. You just want it to barely grab it, not grab it real hard. Snug it up, double check it. Need to tighten up just a hair. Now I'm gonna tighten it down. Double check it one more time. Nice smooth roll. The roller tip is rolling, not in the bind, not pushing the valve down. Everything's good. Now, the reason why we set it off the cam. The cam's in the block this way, here's the gear. The engine rotates this way, which means the timing gear is right here and it's rolling the cam this way. So we're on cylinder number two. Right here is where our push rods are. We're on this lobe and this lobe. This is the, the two intake lobes, this is the two exhaust lobes. So we're rolling this way. The exhaust just starts to move right here. Look where we are on the intake lobe. We're on the very bottom of it. You're on the base circle of the intake lobe. That's why you set it right there. No matter what no matter what cam you have, no matter what timing it's on, the timing will always work this way. Then we rolled around. Remember the exhaust valve moved, went down, and then the intake started coming up. And then right when the intake stops moving, right there, look where we are on the exhaust lobe. We're right in the center of the base circle. That's why this always works. We set it by a cam and we get it accurate like that. Everybody's asking why not do it at top dead center? Well, check it at top dead center, then run it on the cam. It's gonna be one or two thousandths off. So that's how to set valve lash 101. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more.